guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right into episode 6 of Ocean no Koi. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm -mm 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 Why? Mm, you're all right about that. Well, hold up. If you all leave, then there is no show. That's worse. <laughs> that is worse than the cheesecake situation. Oh, my God. Of course. But remember, you're on a reality TV show and you always have to play off the cameras. Mm-hmm. Damn, I'm guessing you get the 20. Sometimes, occasionally, still, I will eat me.
No. Well, that's true. I mean, but still, at the same time, it's always still faith. Be not. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> You know, I kept wondering why Kana reminded me of someone, a different anime character, and it's so fucking obvious. It's Kasumi from Love Live. <laughs> 100%.
No. Oh no. Don't look at those. <laughs> oh. God, it's starting. Make it look like she has a crush on him. Oh, those are pretty! In a good way, right? Damn. She's just still in all the airtime. You gotta do something, honey. Yeah, so it's gonna be okay. Of course they put that shit in.
Jesus Christ. That's all she can say. No, baby. No, don't do that. It's just going to be worse. Oh, God. No, no, no. You didn't do it on purpose. Stop looking at it. But I it's just going to get worse. No, don't bottle it up. So cute, oh my god. Baby. I feel like that flower petal, that was just the last of her, and now that's all she sees, and it's just, 
it's too much. So cool, but that's the internet. I know. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, that hurt. Oh, my baby. Oh God, I don't even want to talk about this episode now. That just... Mm -hmm. Oh, I knew that was coming. I knew that was fucking coming. Oh. I want to cry again. That just fucking hurt. Okay. I, I, I need any I need moments. I need like several moments after watching that. I, I feel so bad for her, but I get it because... I think for a lot of us, we've all been in that situation before where the internet can truly be very toxic and you say one wrong thing and swarms and swarms of people will come and say the worst thing about you that isn't true and it keeps going and going and just even if you just apologize as what's your face said you apologizing is you admitting yes you did something bad and you're leading yourself to the fire it's hard to not look at comments and tweets and everything and you know how people always say oh don't look at the comments don't look at the tweets like just avoid all the negativity and such but sometimes you can't because it's there, right there, and it's, it hurts. It truly fucking hurts, and it's just like, it gets to a point where it overwhelms you, and it, like, 
consumes the hell out of you, which it did for her. She wasn't eating or anything. One wrong thing that she did, and everyone's calling her this, is that, and the third, and telling her to die, which is the most cruelest thing that you could ever say to anyone. <sighs> okay. I'm okay, but I'm not okay. This heart. Thank God Aqua was there because I cannot even imagine just in that moment seeing her in the last few moments of her life and wanting to just throw her life away like that. And it's just, it, it's sad, but still at the same time because of <sighs> trolls and comments and such, it, it, it hurts. It takes a toll on people. And people think, well, no, let me take that back. Trolls think that people don't have feelings. And usually it's always because from, and I've heard this before, from people, any anyone that I know, anybody on the internet, whatever and such, where it's like, oh no, they're only, they're doing it because something is wrong with them, or they're getting bullied, and because they, in order for themselves to feel better, they're going to go after one person and they're going to do it until they feel better. And that, it's truly messed up how toxic it is. And it, it just, it's fucked up. It is very fucked up. This got dark. <laughs> this episode got dark hella quickly. And just in those last moments and just seeing that. And I'm like, oh, well, I already know what's about to be at the end of this episode. So, oh my God. Just all I will say is be very cautious about what you say to people on the internet and such. That we have feelings too. We're everyday people. That something that you say can be hurtful to someone else. It's happened to all of us. Hell, it's happened to me. Even in the beginning. It doesn't really happen as much to me now. But in the beginning, any anything I did and such, I was instantly judged for it. You didn't see it on Twitter. You saw it more on here. And I... I would read comments about it and it would just be stuck in my brain for hours. And hours and hours and days and weeks and such. Um, and like I said, it, it truly hurt. But with positive people in my life, like my mom, my dad, friends, subscribers that I'm able to talk to, I, I thank God that nothing happened to me. But you just, once again, you never know who this situation could happen to one minute you could be at the highest of your high and then your lowest of your low so take that with a grain of salt but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode six of ocean no koi if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next wednesday for episode seven Bye, guys.